Hey, it's Kamil here. I want to talk about this, uh, I believe, a big mistake that lots of people make, especially uh, when teaching young children, is using the expression, that makes me feel. Or they ask the child or other person, how does it make you feel? And it's completely wrong, I believe, because really nothing makes us feel feel anything, it's we choose to feel something or we have programmed ourselves to feel a certain way. So instead we should be saying we should be asking how <laughs> we should be asking the question how do you choose to feel in the event of that or when you see that? And that will, for some people it will be like, what do you mean, what do you mean? And then you say, well, I mean exactly what I say. How do you choose to feel when that happens? And, and you just insist on them answering the same way. I, when this happens, I choose to feel in this way. Okay, so wh what else could you choose? How else would you choose to feel? Would you choose to feel uh, this way maybe or that way? And um, you don't even need to give them suggestion, just ask them the question. They will actually give you the best answers. And I, and I strongly urge you that you start obviously from yourself. Start practicing, I choose to feel like this. I choose to feel expansion that comes from driving a new car or I choose to feel happiness and gratitude in when when it rains because then I have time to actually sit down and reflect and and chill out a little bit slow down um, and so on and so on so do we have a deal uh, will you start speaking like this and will you start asking people to talk like this if, if we do that, if we introduce that thing, that, that paradigm into our culture, um, it will change our society quite a lot. It will empower everybody around us in a big way because more and more people will realize that it's their own choice how they feel. And you can feel happy without any reason at any time. Even if you, your body feels bad, you can still choose to feel a little bit happy. You know, maybe you won't be able, if, if you're sick, you won't be able to feel completely like excited, elated, but you could choose to feel better than you are feeling. So I think it's a worth, worthy course if we could start and and uh, spread it, especially with teachers who deal with young children, uh, young students, um, and everywhere actually. That will help and that will, will, that will make a big change in the whole world. You know, so thanks for watching. Uh, practice uh, that, those expressions I mentioned and talk to your friends about this. Share this video and like it, of course. Thanks for watching again and see you in the next video. Bye.